Ready. Ready. Recording. Whenever you are. I'm recording. Ready whenever you are. Words are hard. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of the Unbound Book Babes. And today, we are going to share with you all of our favorite reading accessories. Yes. Uh, one thing about these little book girlies, we do not gatekeep. Mm -mm. So... Nope. We are going to share with you all of our favorite stuff, give you a little feedback on some of the things we found on Amazon, mm -hmm. and, of course, supply you with a link if you want to go get it. Yes, I'm so excited, you guys. Like, I found some gems, two in particular, uh, they, they kind of go together in a way, um, out, and these aren't going to be like your typical... These two, I don't think, are like your typical suggestions that you've seen on TikTok and whatever. Like, we all have the page turner. Yes, we're still going to talk about it today. But <laughs> it's other than that. So stay tuned. Keep listening because it's it's more than what you are going to expect, I think. So I hope it's, ho I hope it's helpful. I hope yeah. these are honest and helpful reviews. Mm-hmm. Um, I am actually going to start off with the lowest ranked item cool get this it out was of the, the way most meh of all items um okay so i'll just try to hold this up it is a kindle holder pillow thing mm -hmm. okay okay what the it looks different in the photo in the link that you sent me <laughs> Yes. Um, it is just the most... It was $25. It is... Meh. It's perfectly fine. It's... I don't even use it. It's unnecessary. <laughs> like, if I were sitting in bed, like, it holds an iPad. It's a little big for the Kindle. Um, it did take me a minute because it does come apart. Oh, so yeah. it took me a minute to learn how to put it together. Interesting. Um, but even apart, it is so fat. She and chunky. Thick. <laughs> I am not finding a place for this in my luggage. I'm not putting it oh, in my luggage. I'm not yeah. going to do it. Nope. Yeah, that and is now, not. Now, taking it apart, I don't know how to get it back together. <laughs> um, <laughs> so it's these little velcro Cabby thing. Are they magnetic yeah. or velcro? They're Velcro, but they're not like an aggressive Velcro. Okay. And I don't know if they're going to wear out over time. Yeah. Um, as far as Kindle holders go and like pillow stuff, like just hold it with your hands. This is nothing special. Yeah. Good call. Would not recommend. Thanks for letting us know. Would not recommend. I mean, maybe I just don't know how to use it. Um, so that's why it's still linked below. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you like it. Maybe it will work know. out for you, but Kristen, <laughs> yeah. Kristen can't figure it out enough to care for it. No, no, it's not for me. It's just not for me. Yep. <laughs> <sighs> but next up is a product that we both love. Yes. More than anything. Because I think we both kind of have neck pain, right? Yes. Yeah. I have. I think you more than me. Yeah. I have like chronic neck pain issues. Like I go to doctors about it like consistently. And I think I'm getting that gross little tech neck of like everything yeah. being forward. Turtles. Are, I started doing. <laughs> <laughs> I started doing a tummy time to try to correct it. Um, but I think I think these lazy readers, baby. I think these are the solution, the cure all. Yeah. 10 out of 10, 100 out of 5. Everybody, get yourself some lazy readers. I don't care if you're watching TV, reading, scrolling, you need these. Need. Also, I agree. But mine <laughs> are different than the other ones that I've seen before because. Kristen, if you hold those up, they're like glasses yeah, baby. and you cannot like my They're heavy too, yeah. They are heavy. 
Um, cause I did have those, but I returned them to get something different because I could I like wearing my glasses under those isn't a thing and I truly need my glasses to see you guys. So <laughs> I did a little digging and I found these and these are so nice you guys. They came in this little case. And in this case, you get like a little cleaning thing and you also get a mini screwdriver and I'll show you what that's for in a second. But my lazy readers clip onto my glasses. So like what? my god and then you can move the little um you can move the distance of these that's why they give you the mini screwdriver so you can like move these to like be in a better position for like where your pupil is at but let me show you guys <laughs> so these just like clip onto your glasses they just clip onto your glasses and then bada bing i can now see down here i can't see anything up here <laughs> I love these things, man. I love these things so much. You guys, I use these. I know I probably look crazy. Did I care? <laughs> no, I'm at a point <laughs> in my age or in my life. I'm in an age in my life where I just do not, do not <laughs> care. Um, on the plane, I was laying in bed with my head on the pillow, rested back with my book on my stomach, just reading. I was sitting on a couch looking straight ahead with my book down here in my lap just reading and i've used them for my on using both my kindle and a physical book and i like it um i do have like one small critique is how kristen's glasses have all that black around them which is kind of nice because this this is essentially a, a type of prism right so like when you put them on like if you're not focused right or you're not quite aligned correctly you can get some like weird lighting things happening but it's never and i have super sensitive eyes to light like when they at the doctors when they put that light in my i just tear and it's just like i can't stand the light and so um it's really nice because that it didn't like hurt my eyes when that prism thing happened and then I just would readjust them and it, it only happened a couple times. Also, they do rest on my freight on my lens a bit, but they haven't scratched it or anything. Um, I mean, I'm being careful too because glasses are expensive. I live in America. Okay. Um, <laughs> so I'm very careful about them, but I freaking love these things. I, they're, my glasses go in this case now. They go, they go in this case. Like I, carry this with me now because it is <laughs> so nice it's awesome super pumped about it i highly, highly recommend highly go recommend. get yourself all the link go get some yeah some lazy readers i will admit these ones are about twice as expensive as the other ones but if i can actually use them and they help both uh my neck pain and allow me to read with my glasses on they're worth every dime to me I Twice as expensive, you mean like twenty bucks, right? Yeah, they're they're tw they're like twenty one dollars. Yeah, see, yeah, they're not expensive. Get yourself some; they're amazing. Yeah. Um, I didn't put these on there because I couldn't find the link yet. But let me talk about these real quick too. Okay, so let me take my glasses back off, you guys. So, Kristen, um, in a, you know, was this in the other episode that we just filmed where you're talking about like good lighting when you're reading? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so we just filmed. Mm -hmm. So important. Yeah, we just filmed another episode too, and we were talking about like having like good lighting and when you're reading and stuff, which is extremely relevant to my little gadgets. Okay, let me show you. Let me get them all set up. I truly have GoGo -Go Gadget reading glasses now, you guys. This makes my little heart so happy. I'm so excited to show you guys this. Okay, oops, that's not the right one. There we go. There's so many things that these, what I'm about to show you, are going to be useful for. These little lights clip onto the outside of my glasses. Oh my. And they pivot. Pivot. <laughs> they pivot. pivot. <laughs> and so it's just this little light that clips on. And so now I could like be reading in the dark with this little light with my little easy readers on. And not only that, oh, I just shined myself in the eyes, but um, 
these could also be super <laughs> useful too much light. <laughs> for just yeah too much light these could also be so useful for arts and crafts arts and crafts uh putting little models together um working on cars um working in dark spaces like because you can put them forward or down these could be cool for like camping maybe. yeah do you think they clip onto safety glasses <laughs> oh yeah i'm sure they clip on to they have like this little i don't know it's kind of hard to see but they have like little teeth at different sections and it's a pretty good area that's clamping so i would imagine so oh and, my god look at those and the best part about it is that I take these and I wrap them up in this so that the don't get all scratched and I can put those in their little case. And then my little go, go gadget lights also fit in here. <laughs> so all of this can be in this little itty bitty case and go around with me. Oh my God. It is a bookworm's dream. Yep. We were just talking about getting back to physical books and that yep. to have a light that clips onto your glasses. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Love it. I found those and I was like, these are sweet. <laughs> That's amazing. I love it. Because I'm, like I said, I'm really sensitive to light and like th they don't bother me because they're shooting down here and it's like this really soft, like blue light. And, um, mm -hmm. Which I know you're like, blue light's a thing, and like, I don't know how or why or what form. I have blue light things on my glass. You can tell they're like yellowy. But, um, yeah, I mean, they're great because I like, I don't like to have the lights on in my house. <laughs> <laughs> my house is like always dark. And so, like, I'll have like the soft light over the stove on or candles lit or like a side lamp on. But now, if I want that ambiance, but I'm trying to read, I can maintain the ambiance around me, but still have focused lighting. Super cool. I need that. You want to know a fun fact? What's your fun fact? Uh, the overhead light in my bedroom has been burnt out for, I don't know, eight months. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's how infrequent I have ever used it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just not a big big light person. I have another one before we get get uh, too far. If you want to see more content like this, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and click the bell to be notified every time we upload. It really helps us out. It's for my Kindle. So we, we have trans transition, use this to transition back to some of our Kindle gadgets. I bought, I haven't had a case on my Kindle. Um, and we talked about that in a different, in the e-readers episode where we are talking about recessed mm -hmm. screens because my screen is scratched because I have never had a <laughs> case or a screen cover on it. Now, I still don't have a screen cover on it because it's too late. It doesn't matter. No, <laughs> it, it no longer matters. Um, but I bought this clear case mainly because I have all these stickers that I got that I really wanted to display. So these aren't stuck to my Kindle. These are just in between the case and my Kindle, but now I can see all my little stickers, like my Umbra Mortis, my Miles from uh, Lauren M. Leisure's book series, his novellas coming out uh, in like a month, actually. Very excited for that. Um, Wait, these are not stuck to your Kindle? No. But they're also not on the outside of the case? No, they're in between the two, the, uh, the case and the Kindle. So they're just sandwiched between the back. So they're not actually being used. Like this, there's not. They're still stickers. They're on used stickers. Like the back's still on. Correct. We talked. That is the most Bobby Joe thing I've ever heard in my entire life. <laughs> we, have we talked about this? We have talked about this. I think on the podcast <laughs> how I don't like to use my stickers. Oh, I yeah, we've commit. talked about that. That's why I was so proud of you for putting them on your Kindle. Outside of and this. And I lied to. <laughs> yeah, outside of this water bottle and my one other water bottle, this is like my bookish water bottle, and my other one is like my travel water bottle. So this is from Dog Eared Books. This is from Exile in, in Bookville, which is in Chicago. They, they're um, books and music. Uh, and then my abraxos and light it up for for my sjm things so yeah 
So unused stickers. I like it. That's unused stickers uh, in my Genius. case. And then Elf, that's going to get the case. I also used to have, because on the back, before I got this case, I had two love handle holders. And I'll put a picture in here and the link will be down below to them. <laughs> I know they sound so funny, but they're like <laughs> soft cloth holders. And I actually had two of them so I could hold it from either side. Um, and I, I miss it. I miss now that I took it off and put the case. So I think I'm going to order a new one and put it on the back of my case. So that way I'm still ow, I hit myself in the headphones. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I am going to stick that on this case. I'll probably rearrange my stickers around it once I get it. But, um, yeah, and then I can also change up the stickers, right? So I'm not committed to these. Like, I can always change them if I get new ones or whatever. So that's exciting. Better ones. I don't know. Those are some pretty good ones. <laughs> some pretty cool ones. <laughs> that's pretty cool. So you alluded to it. You already kind of showed it a little bit. You're a page turner. Yeah. Now, I have a question about the page turner. I have never invested in one for myself. Yeah. Um, is this something you would use or you do use without a Kindle holder? Yeah, I've used mine without a Kindle holder. Really? Yeah, because I'm going to show, my, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show my holder, okay? See my holder? This is, this is, is not... Is it good? Is it sturdy? Yeah, I really like it. It's like... Yeah, it's like pretty firm. It's firm. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, this is too big to fit into a suitcase where mm -hmm. my my page turner is not right. So like, mm -hmm. you know, so I do my tummy time where I prop this up on a headboard, <laughs> put a pillow under my neck in a hotel and I click through it. As I'm holding the pillow and reading. Oh. That's how I use my clicker without a holder. Okay. I was just curious because I was like, I would already be holding it. And then I'd have to hold the remote in the other hand. Yeah. So I use this I use this a lot whether I have... Because like basically this Kindle holder stays um, on my bedside, essentially. Mm -hmm. um, I have actually used it. I have a walking pad on the ground right behind me. I use it for that too. So where I'm not like holding it and walking, I'm looking up while I'm walking and I'm reading. Um, mm -hmm. I've done that a couple yeah. times too. And I use this for that. Okay. I got a, I got a, would you rather question for you? Yeah. What's up? Kindle. Okay. Laying in bed. Would you rather use the Kindle holder or the lazy readers on a Kindle? No books involved. Honestly, because that lives in my um, room, the holder, I would probably use my holder. And then like when I'm sitting on the couch or laying on the couch or in the recliner, I would probably reach for my lazy readers and then also use these on the go too. Whereas mm -hmm. I'm not going to use that. Alive. Yeah. Fascinating. I was just curious. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, that's a great question. That's a great, because now I own both. Like, how am I going <laughs> to utilize and justify owning both, right? And so I feel like I just did a good job at that. I think so. I mean, yeah, it's, but it's also the idea that if you had the opportunity to use both, the Kindle holder with the page turner might win out. Potentially, depending on the situation. Mm, well, all things equal. What was the question? <laughs> 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 okay so you clarified for us the situations in which you would use one over the other mm -hmm. but all things equal a given situation which would you prefer the kindle holder with the page turner or the lazy readers like given a situation which one's more comfortable i guess like i guess do you have a preference one or the other like, if I only owned one or the other, what one would I rather own? Because right now my brain is just going to, oh, I own them both. I'm going to use them in the best <laughs> way. <laughs> I mean, I guess, but I guess, 
I guess that is, in essence, answering the question because that means that you don't really have a preference. No. I don't think would I do. You, yeah, that's the question. I, I guess the question was, do you have a preference? Uh, no. Would you rather I think it would be for the... Yeah, it would be situational. Situation. Yeah. Or also, like, money, too. Because, like, the lazy readers were $21 and the the Kindle holder is... I don't even know, because you bought it for me. <laughs> it, I'll have to check the link. It's twenty five dollars. Twenty five. Twenty. Yeah, the one that's that's linked here, and then the page turner is thirty dollars. So like fifty dollars for you know this pairing or twenty dollars for this. That could be another way you look at it. Like what one makes more sense for for your budget. Because I, I really I mean, truly think all, you could use them things. either. Yeah. Yeah. All good things to think about. But I just didn't know if you overall had a preference. Like if somebody... I don't think so. If somebody was just irresponsible with money and they didn't really care about cost, they just wanted to know which one you liked better. Buy them all and use them for what makes sense to you. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I mean, it is... See, I don't think I would take my lazy readers on the go... Because these little things don't fold down. Yeah, that's kind of hard to, like, pack so, pack out. Yeah. Yeah. So none of the accessories are anything I would take on the road with me. Mm. So. We're different. I guess that's good that we have different perspectives here. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, if you travel a lot, would not recommend anything I've shown you here today. Well, except for Bobby's. Page Turner and yeah, in my her attachable lazy, glasses, my attachable lazy readers. Yeah, Honest. but if you've got a cute little reading nook at home, highly recommend getting all of it. Yeah, honestly, they're they've been they've been fun additions to my reading process. Mm -hmm. Honestly, and like when I tell you when my neck doesn't like hurt, <sighs> it's such a blessing. <laughs> Right? So also, awesome. Can I bring your attention to one of the comments we had on one of our videos? Yeah. Um, yeah, we okay. got a couple when Let I was on vacation and I didn't read them because Kristen was kind of holding down the fort. So this is on our Kindle features you need to know for better reading. You can click it right up here. Mm -hmm. It'll be linked. Mm -hmm. You can go check that video out. But here we had tons of great Kindle tips and tricks. And I just wanted to bring attention to additional dictionary information. Uh, uh, this commenter uh, is, English is not their native language. And so when you go to the dictionary, there's a function called interactive vocabulary. It's in the three dot menu at the top. The Kindle remembers all of the words that you look up. So whatever you press and hold and look up the meaning of, your Kindle's going to remember every single one of those. And when you go into that list, there's a button that opens another page and gives you flashcards. I don't know if you're like me and you look up a word and you go, wow, super interesting. Cool. And then forget about it. I wonder how many repetitive times I've looked up like the same word over and over again. Um, but yeah, now you can utilize those flashcards and actually learn these words and grow your vocabulary that's amazing i did not know that i was so happy because I, I did read that comment when you sent me the screenshot yeah. amazing feature isn't it yes and they're also a landscape reader we got a lot of responses about landscape readers um well i, really, I gotta say you guys have really changed my mind i really like i'm not gonna use it the person who was talking about like textbooks that makes a lot of sense because sometimes they're referencing figures on the other page mm -hmm. um and maybe you can see better i'm not sure but yeah super cool we do read all of your comments we do our best to respond yes. not in a timely manner because that's not my style but um we do <laughs> we do read them we do love to read. can i say the username of that comment or should, do you want to put it in yeah, I'll pop in the clip of the comment so that you guys okay. can see the full thing. Um, you can also go check out the video and scroll down and check out the comment. Leave a comment of your own if you know a tip we didn't cover. Because uh, 
the whole point of us being here is to build a community and learn things together. So the more you tell us, the cooler our time here is. Um, and also about 85% of the people who watch our videos aren't subscribed. So if you're not subscribed, please uh, join the community and subscribe, uh, like this video, share it with a friend. Uh, we So can I share a weird stat about our subscribers? Oh yeah. 50% of them are men, roughly, almost 45%, but I rounded up. Um, so go ahead and if you are a man and you want to up that percentage, go ahead and subscribe. If you yeah. are not a man and you want to skew the statistics a little bit, subscribe. <laughs> Let's see if we can we can change that. Uh <laughs> Let's see what the ratio gets to. Um, yeah, let's, let's play with that ratio a little bit. Yeah, so with all that being said, um, we will link all these things down below. Um, they are through our Amazon affiliate, so we'll get a very, very small kickback. Um, and it helps for us to like try new things, buy new books, come back to you with more information, uh, which is exciting for us. So if you have any of these items already, let us know your experience with them below or just comment how you think you would use some of these things. And until next time, keep reading.